To understand 3D structure, we first have to understand the concept of chirality and asymmetric centers. Um, asymmetric centers are also um, referred to as chiral centers and sometimes even stereo centers, but later on we'll look at the difference between the two. Um, but I'm going to stick with the term either asymmetric center or chiral center. And what that is, is it's a specific atom, typically carbon, that we're going to be looking at, but an atom that's bonded to four different groups. And the key here is different. SP3 carbons are always bonded to four groups, but the question is, are they different? So let's look at some examples um, and figure out whether or not um, we're looking at chiral centers. In fact, we don't even need to worry about three-dimensionality yet. Right, the first one, this should be pretty straightforward. So if we look at this and look at the groups around the carbon, you have a hydrogen, an OH, a CL, and a BR. Those are, of course, four different things. So that particular carbon is bonded to four different groups. That's a chiral center. And we often denote that with an asterisk on the atom. Okay, how about this one? Specifically, I'm interested in this carbon. All right, when thinking about this, my first recommendation is that you draw in any implied hydrogen on the carbon you're examining. So this carbon has one implied hydrogen that I'm going to go ahead and draw in. From there, if we look at this, your first instinct might be to say, well, this carbon's bonded to a carbon, a carbon, and a carbon. Three carbons, those aren't different. But you need to take the group as a whole. Anything that makes that group visually different is enough to consider it a different group. This one is one group because it's a CH3. This one is different because it's a CH3, or it's a CH2 CH3, it's an ethyl group. And then this third carbon is different because it's a three carbon chain, a propyl group. So anything that can make that distinct is enough. And then our fourth group is the hydrogen. For that reason, this carbon is bonded to four different groups. And we're going to mark that with an asterisk to show that it is a chiral center. All right, one other term that we can kind of take in here a molecule with one chiral center is a chiral molecule. Now there's going to be other things that fall into this class of chiral molecules, but one thing you can always take is if you have one chiral center, the molecule will be chiral. Let's look at one other example. All right, if we look at this one here, and we want to look at this central carbon. Right, what you should immediately recognize is that these two are both ethyl groups. They're the same. For that reason, this is not a chiral center. Okay. 
Okay, and that's also why you know you never have to worry about CH2 groups being chiral centers because there's always two hydrogen there, so there won't be four different groups. Now I have one here for you to take um, a couple of minutes to try. So go through this molecule carefully and look and see if you can identify all of the chiral centers and then decide how many there are.